Yes, that is the Miami International Airport to the right, but today we are not getting on a plane. In fact, we just got off one. Nope, today we are making a short road trip south. I invite you to guess where we're going. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV If you guessed Florida Keys, you are on the right track. Although, let me tell you, this is the worst weather we've ever encountered coming down this way. We are not going very far. We're staying here at Key Largo, at a private residence with full hookups. the moonlighting. It's a little bit of a rainy day, but let's see the view. Let's see the view here in the bay side of very nice place he's got here. Oh yeah, this is gonna be the perfect spot to watch the sunset. Oh, and there's a hot tub. I'd like to thank Barry of RoadTripMojo.com for inviting us to his home here in Key Largo. Well, as you can see, we are staying at this idyllic place here in the Florida Keys. And then tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to explore maybe a little bit of Key Largo. And uh, maybe we'll just stay here, you know, fly the drone and go to some of the nearby tiki bars. Who knows? But anyways, check that out. So beautiful, so beautiful out here. Maybe I'll do some snorkeling. Maybe I'll, I'll get in the in the water. Very nice. So happy to be here. Let me check out this place. It's beautiful. Not only did Barry let us stay at his home, he also invited us to dinner here at the Key Largo Conk House. Thank you. No, that was really good. That was really good. Yes. Barry. Thank you. Beautiful dinner. Yes. Beautiful evening in Key Largo. And you've got a beautiful place here in Key Largo as well. We return to the house briefly for sunset, although it looks like it might be a little too cloudy. We'll see. Of course, the best colors are usually just after the sunset. That was a great Florida Keys uh, sunset right back there. Now let's go get some dessert. Huh? Here's the view from the second floor. By the way, very nice, very peaceful out here. See you tomorrow. We've got his and hers coffee going, so good morning from the Moonlight Inn here in Key Largo. And let me tell you what the plan is here. There's absolutely no plan, except you know, drinking some bubbly and relax here by the water. We are taking a vacation from our vacation, from those two weeks of non-stop RV traveling Europe. Although, let me tell you, I wouldn't mind doing some parasailing or something else. Actually, let me show you where we are.
There's Captain Jack's Mobile Home Park and the Key Largo Marriott Beach Resort. There's even Sundowners, and I wanted to fly further down, but I chickened out. It is a little windy and the drone is nothing but a speckle of dust in the sky. Maybe later I'll be more courageous. distance to US 1 so we're just gonna walk around a little bit here you know see the neighborhood Evelyn's uh, Key Largo restaurant let's check it out we've never been here actually yeah we came to Evelyn's for breakfast although it is almost yeah. lunchtime and here we are at the pink mall we've seen this mall so many times on the road uh, even though Minitini didn't go with us uh, to Finland and uh, Norway or Sweden Minitini was there in spirit, so I've got a couple of stickers that we're gonna put on the back. First, we're gonna put this one. I think we bought this at the Lapland, and it's a, a picture of a reindeer, you know, crossing the road. There. Now, the northernmost place in the world that you can drive to, Nordcap, and that's the one that we're gonna put next. And it's 71 degrees of latitude north, so we'll try to do the best job possible here. It's a little windy, so we'll see how this goes. There we go, definitely came out better than Route 66. So now that Minitini has been in spirit to these two places, let me bring two more stickers that I want to put on. The two other stickers I have belong to fellow YouTubers Luis and Lydia. Let's begin with Lydia, her channel, Simply RVing. Listen to your soul, simplify and go, Simply RVing. And Lydia is gonna go right here. And now Lewis, he travels in a, in a camper van. His channel is Rolling Earthship. And here we go, Rolling Earthship, going in the back of Minitini. And I'll put links to both of their channels in the description or somewhere. Now I got one more sticker to put, and that one belongs to RVRadio.us, also known as the Moth FM, which is a smooth radio station, and they've been playing some of my music, so there. I went on Amazon and got this inflatable kayak. You know, it was cheap, impulse buy really, uh, so let's test it out. It is really a two-person kayak, but I'm going to test it out by myself just in case. The only thing with this kayak, as usual, is you get what you pay for. Uh, be it so wide, it is kind of uncomfortable to row and uh, let's face it, there's no denying it. It looks exactly like a banana boat. It looks like the neighbors might be having a party. Some people arriving in boats and jet skis and lots of activity on the water. I kind of wish I had a wave runner right now. Let's see if I work up the courage to fly a little further this time.
Well, I did go a little further, but half a mile away now, and that in front of us is the newest and probably most expensive RV resort in Key Largo right now. It is called Keys Palms RV Resort. We are just a little bit too far for comfort, so let's head back. Here's the Caribbean club to the left, very famous for the movie Key Largo. Right next to it, Jimmy Johnson's Big Chill. And then some downers and Senor Frijoles. It is such a beautiful day to be flying around. We spent most of the afternoon, actually most of the day here chilling, you know, because why wouldn't you? It's a beautiful property. But we're getting kind of hungry, so we're going to get something to eat now. And we haven't decided what to eat yet, but fish might be on the menu. Well, we ended up coming to the Lazy Lobster, which is right across the street from John Pennycamp State Park and I have no idea how it's gonna be. We start with some bread, beer, a fish dip, and even though they really screwed up Ely's order, my lobster was delicious, and the key lime pie for dessert. Yeah, my lobster rosado was really good, and the chowder was okay, but everything else was very underwhelming. So, as I said, your mileage may vary here at the, at the Lazy Lobster. Now let's go somewhere else. Well, we actually ended up not doing anything else. We just waited for the sunset and relaxed. If you care to indulge me, I have a couple more drone shots. Well, now that it is dark, I want to show you this uh, flashlight that I got uh, from the nice folks at Through Night. And if you recall, uh, about a year ago, I used to review a bunch of flashlights uh, from them. And uh, they just recently sent me this one. It's the Neutron 2C. And this thing is amazing. Actually, I'm afraid to point it out there because I might confuse the boats. They might think it's, a, it's a, like a lighthouse. And I mean, I'm joking, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of serious. This thing is like... Check it out. I might use the other camera. It, it illuminates like really, really far away. Of course, check it out. You can see the, you can see the, the halo the boat over there is pretty far and it illuminates it too. I mean, this thing is, is quite, quite powerful. 
Yeah, it's a portable lighthouse. And that's something. Okay, let's go back to the house. I figured out how to turn on the green lights at the end of the lights. pier. There. Well, there you have it. Very uh, bright flashlight, as I showed you. And, and then, if you can, if you can, you know, change the, the intensity of the lights if you want it. You may can be just a little bit like a. I think they call that the, like the, they call that uh, the firefly mode. It has a cool feature here that you can charge it by USB, so you don't need to worry about batteries or anything like that. Just plug it into a micro USB port, and, and you're good to go. Anyways, I'm, I'm probably gonna leave the camera doing a time lapse, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. morning today unfortunately we have to leave and we almost feel like adam and eve being expelled from our little slice of paradise once again i want to thank barry for inviting us to his place here Oh well, time's up. Until next time, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.